Hi everyone! Hi. I'm Edlin Casey, the owner and founder of Spargo Lifestyle, and I'm with Annick Quarry, registered dietitian. Uh, today, me and Annick had a, a discussion quickly yeah. about a couple of questions that our uh, client asked us, and we wanted to just answer quickly how we can, how we should be answering that question. So, mm -hmm. explain what a lot of clients are asking you. Often, I get, "How do I look?" The way you do, or how how do you do everything you do, as in working out and food and things like that, and how do you stay motivated? Uh, and what's my secret? Yeah, um, I often get that asked anywhere. Sometimes at grocery stores, sometimes at the gym, um, and people want to know what's the secret. Yes, yeah. what's, what's the secret to success? Do you get that? Yes, I get that. I found, um, especially now that uh, I'm working a lot. I'm working a lot and I'm not at the gym the way I used to. I don't eat the way I used to and but obviously I still do some stuff like I'm not, you know what I mean? So it's different. Uh, but I found like a lot of people will either look at me right now and saying that, hey, like you you work that much right now, you, you eat the way you do and you look the way you are. So they think that they can do whatever I'm doing right now and have results. And I think it all kind of come back to what you're about to say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So my thing is is comparison. That is something we tend to do, and I don't know if it's because from school um, to school to sport or whatever it were it was as you grew up. Often we would compare ourselves to other people to see how we measure up. Problem is, is as adult, I think we still kind of do that. Um, for, for different reasons, but when we do compare ourselves to somebody else, it's very unfair mm -hmm. um, because we're certainly not from the same background, we're certainly not the same person, and as a matter of fact, we're very unique. Yeah. So I think it, we're very unfair to ourselves when we start comparing to somebody else or to see how we measure up. And that could be just about anything, whether like if you open up, you know, media, it's, social yeah, media. Like Instagram, you just need to go on Instagram and... It's, it's tough if you open it up and all you are going to see is, is millionaires with certain cars, certain houses, certain success or whatever it is and all of a sudden you, you going in, we're pretty much in a good mood but all of a sudden you start comparing yourself to this person and measuring your success to that, all of a sudden it becomes a very negative thing and how long will it take for you to start focusing on what you can do to, it's good to reevaluate from time to time, don't get me wrong. But to compare yourself to this, these random people are very unfair. So I like to, um, so for me, for example, when I convince myself to you know, get the gym every day or, or do my meal prep and do stuff, I, I want to do it for me. I want to do it for my daughter. I want to do it to stay healthy, to enjoy life, to be able to travel. These are my focus and that's what I try to focus on. Um, but to also do the best that I can do. Mm -hmm. So I want to be better than yesterday. So if I'm going to compare myself to something, I'm going to compare it to myself. And I'm going to try to compare it to maybe a few years back, 10 years back, and see where I am. Mm -hmm. And I hope that I'm getting further and further. But if not, then I need to refocus, readjust. But I try not to waste time on focusing on other people around me because that's unfair to me. Mm -hmm. We don't have the same parents, we don't have the same values, and we don't have the same abilities. So why spend time that way? Mm -hmm. And I think like a lot of people sometimes don't realize that, you know, uh, we get, well, per person I can talk, well, we can, I can talk about, about both of us, but I didn't wake up one morning and I decided that I want it to be skinny, I want it to be fit, and just appeared like that. My own health weight loss journey started when I was 14. You know, like that morning, I was sick of being like an overweight, an overweight teenager. I start the gym back then. I was going like, you know, at least three to six times a week. I started learning about nutrition. I, you know, I went to school in nutrition. I competed six times. I battled like eating disorders. Uh, you know, I, I changed my relationship with food. That's my journey. And... I find sometimes people are just looking for that like magic pill or magic secret. Like what do you what do you eat? What do you do? And I'll I'll do that. And it's not that you know like it, it's years and years of mistakes and that gave, mm. gave put me here. And 
yes, now I feel seriously, I feel that, you know, I, I worked for between 14 to 33 right now. I worked on building that muscle mass. I, I, I worked on building that metabolism and, you know, like learning what food worked for me, what food doesn't work for me. And yes, now I can go at the gym a little bit less than I used to. I can treat myself a little bit more, but it all, it's all because I took the time for 14 years of my half of my life. I've been dedicated on working on myself, mm -hmm. learning what worked for me, what doesn't. And I did, I've done tons of mistakes mm -hmm. in the process. Like I just didn't woke up like that in the morning. And, and then I get client or, you know, people that will just come and say, well, I tried that for a couple of months and it doesn't work for me. Well, obviously not, you know, like if, I mean, the, the best, like, I feel like people go into their health journey, they, they crash, they, you know, they just do those crash diet. And then as soon as there's like a little struggle or it gets hard, they just kind of fell off the wagon. But then you kind of need to get in another wagon. And that's just like depressing mm -hmm. and yes. it never ends. Like if, if I want to wake up in the morning and go to the gym, hell no. If I enjoy my morning smoothie or whatever, not always, but you know, I, I do it anyway. And I don't enjoy brushing my teeth either. Like I don't, I don't really like to be wet. So my, sh you know, you still need to take your shower. You still need to do that stuff. And yeah, like I found that's kind of, that's true. And if you don't compare yourself to somebody else, but focus on you, yeah. you stop spending that time on spending on the negative and start doing something, then yeah. start changing. If you're not having a rich situation, whatever that may be, then what are you going to need to change it? and stop the negative comparison and put in the time. Like we all do put in the time. We've done our mistakes, yeah. mistakes too. Yeah. And finding out the right recipe, like what you worked for you when you were in your twenties mm -hmm. and what it is now, it's very different, it's but totally both different. work. Yep. Um, yeah. So along the way you've learned your body, you've learned how your mind works mm -hmm. and get yourself into that groove and whatever fits with your lifestyle at this time is still successful for you. Could be completely different to somebody else. So you need to find your own way to be successful for you. So you need to measure up to yourself and see where you're, are you getting ahead or are you getting, are you backtracking? Mm -hmm. And if you compare yourself to somebody else, you risk not being the best that you can be because mm -hmm. you're trying to be like somebody else. Yeah. Because I think like if you would, because for people that knows me and knows any, know that we're really different into what we like, what works for us, like we're totally two different person. But I think what we do have in common, it's we really take the time to, stop look at ourselves, and really we're self-aware both of us we just you know we we, we like improving ourselves we don't necessarily compare it to others we we look at that as a motivation mm -hmm. you know like oh yeah i'll put that on my like i don't know what like how you say vision board vision whatever board. <laughs> you know and but i think we're more into like yeah like the day to day how can we improve ourselves? how can we you know challenge ourselves? and we use other people as a motivation but yeah we don't just take you know we don't use that as a negative or like I, I'll never we have two different body types mm -hmm. right there it's impossible for me to look at Anik and say Anik I want I want your your abs you know I am from the background that I am I'll never have that it's just my body's not designed that way you'll never have my shoulders mm -hmm. I'm born with my shoulders you know mm -hmm. it's you know, you can't compare to other people. They're, they're not you. They're, they don't have the same body type. They don't have the same body, metabolism. They don't have the same lifestyle situation. Right. Everything's so different. So it's it's so unfair and a waste of time, in my opinion, to do that. Um, focus on what you have. Focus on your strength and your weaknesses. Mm -hmm. So turn your weaknesses into your strength. Yes. But, but start spending time now because it's going to take a lot of time. Yeah. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take years. It's going to take 10, 15 years, 20 years. But you know what? However long it takes, yeah. you're, you're in this for a while. Right? Yeah, it's your body. You just have one. Start yeah. taking care of it like mm -hmm. now and just don't stop. Just just do it. Like That's the other thing too. I find right now I'm getting a lot of, well, I took the summer off. Well, I took the summer off. To me, if you take the whole summer off, it better be because there's something happening was there some kind of operation mm -hmm. like on your body? Why yeah. stop for a whole yes. month? You can stop for you know a couple of days or a week. 
to rest your body and resting is super important but to stop completely i question that yeah there's yeah there's no reason and sometimes i'll even have clients that let's say they have an injuries okay and that's for me that's a typical mm -hmm. they get into injuries they don't really know what's going on so they stop the gym altogether but like, they can still use their arms or they can still like maybe do a workout but no impact like don't stop there's unless you like fell out of a building and you're like fully like you're just okay yeah i can get that one but i mean if you just have like an injuries here and there an arm a broken arm like there's no point of like start stop working out mm -hmm. or even like stop eating well mm -hmm. like you can still eat well you can still do some movement if you if you're not aware well that's where like people like us get in no. the play my god just come for consultation get like a, a fitness plan designed for your situation if you maybe you're full of allergy you don't know what to eat same thing there's professional out there that can help you with that but don't use that as an excuse mm -hmm. absolutely and and even the mindset so if you still in the game you'll feel much better probably heal even better too yeah because i often see people who stop exercising don't eat well and what happens they get depressed and they mm -hmm. get their self-esteem goes down which is not good mm -hmm. and then it's harder to pick that and, and pick it up again and get yourself back into the groove right because they don't know where to start anymore it's like they forgot yeah and you know i think a lot of people too it's it's almost like they're their weight or their way they, they, they look or whatever, they're, they're, it really set their mood for the day. And that's where it's wrong. Like it should not, like, you know what I mean? No matter what, no matter what way I weigh on that morning on the scale, it doesn't, it doesn't tell me who I am as a person. Mm -hmm. And I feel like people get discouraged of that. And you should just kind of like, leave the scale, leave all that, just kind of do stuff to take care of you for a while. Mm -hmm. I feel like us as a woman, like between our kids, our work, uh, you know, just our life, a lot just, of pressure. there's a lot of pressure mm -hmm. and we forgot that we need to just take the time to just, you know, we're all human. Yeah. We're all, we need to take care of ourselves because if we can't take care of ourselves, you can't take care of your family mm -hmm. and a story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything else? I think we've said enough. <laughs> so if you have anything to add, make sure you comment below and I will be more than happy to answer your questions. Yeah, thank you. Bye! Bye.